Hey, hi. So many of you guys are, are still a bit confused over question 7c. So I think uh, let's try to go through it together and hopefully uh, gain some clarity. Okay, so for 7c, we are presented with uh, three loops. So uh, there's first the i loop over here, and then the j loop, and then the k loop. So let's do the easy one first. Uh, like all the uh, rest of the uh, questions before, if you have i that loops from n to 0 and i minus minus, so this is uh, clearly uh, uh, n, uh, o n, o n algorithm, so this will be uh, o of n. In the second loop, you are going to find that uh, j goes from 1 all the way to n, and every single time, uh, j increases by uh, doubles. So, uh, evidently from what we see uh, before, this will be a log n base 2 algorithm rather log n base 2 loop the third innermost loop is the one that is a bit tricky because uh, the value of k uh, it, it depends on the value of j so it is in fact uh, very difficult to just uh, by induction find out what then should the value of k be uh, what you normally do in such case is that <coughs> excuse me you look at the loop that goes before it which is uh, the j loop so if you were to unroll these two loops out, you'll find that when j equals to 1, uh, k will then be equals to 0, so k will run one time. When j the next time it runs, j will be equals to the number of 2, and k will run as k equals to 0 and k equals to 1. So k will run two times over here. The next time it runs, j will be equals to 4, so k will run from 0, 1, 2, and 3. So k will run 4 times, and subsequently and so on, j is going to double to 8, and at the same time, the innermost loop will also run for 8 times. So then we see a pattern that starts to emerge. It means that every time uh, k increases by a factor of, uh, by, du by doubling as well, so it then goes on when j equals to 1, 2, 4, 8. In fact, k will run for 1 time, 2 time, 4 time, 8 times, and so on. If we were to sum up the number of times that k is going to run for, this in fact turns out to be a geometric progression. And the geometric progression is given by this formula over here, which is a1 minus r to the power p divided by 1 minus r. So if we look at this uh, geometric, geometric progression of 1, 2, 4, 8, up all the way up to n, we know that uh, a is the first number in the GP, which is the value of 1. r is the, uh, is the ratio uh, that uh, each number is being uh, multiplied by, which is equal to 2. So uh, the easier one will be, uh, I will substitute a to be 1, r to be 2, so I will end up with this equation over here. We don't know what, it, what is p yet. So to find out what p is, we look at the j loop. Earlier we have established that j will run for log n base 2 times. And because j will run for log n base 2 times, it also means that this entire loop is going to happen for log n base 2 times. Uh, once again, uh, as uh, what we communicated in the lectures, uh, it is base 2 because we are multiplying by 2 every single time. So the, uh, so in terms of uh, the, the log notation, it will be log n base 2. If I were to multiply this by 3, it will be log n base 3. But then uh, down here we have log n base 2. And so we are going to put p to be equals log n base 2. And I'm going to put this over here. Once I have log n base 2 over here, I have this, this expression, I can then evaluate Okay, the denominator over here, 1 minus 2, this will give me minus 1. If I bring minus 1 <coughs> multiplied by the, by the numerator, I'm going to get uh, 2 to the power of log n base 2 minus 1. So the, my entire GP will be 2 to the power of log n base 2 minus 1. How can we simplify 2 to the power of log n? So if, let's say we assume we uh, let uh, 2 to the power of log n be equals to the value of x. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log n base 2 both sides. 
So log base 2 this side, log base 2 that side. So I'm going to get log to the power of log n base 2 equals to log of x base 2. Once I have this, I can bring down the exponent of my value of 2, log, which is log n base 2, bring it down in front, and then I'm going to get log n base 2 multiplied by log of 2 base 2, and this will be equal to log of x base 2. Okay. Once you have this, log 2 base 2, the value is equal to 1, and this will give me log n base 2 equals log x base 2 and so if I remove the log on both sides I'm going to get x will be equals to n and what is x equals to? x is equals to 2 to the power of log n base 2 so then this gives me 2 to the power of log n base 2 will be equals to the value of n so I'm going to put this within back into this so I'm going to get 2 to the power of log n base 2 minus 1 this is equals to n will be equals to n minus 1 approximately this will be equals to the value of n notice that this value of n is the sum of both the j and the k loop it is not just the k loop alone but then we are analyzing both the j and the k loop together so together j and k will take big O of n we have already established that i is going to take big O of n as well. So in total, this entire loop will take big O of n squared. So this is how we solve question.